Hello, my Geminis. Thank you for coming to watch my video. So this is the February reading for Gemini 20, 2021. Thank you for coming to watch. Um, if this does not resonate with you, then you can watch your sun, moon, or rising, whichever this one is not. So, let's see what we have for Gemini for this month. February, February, it's already February. Amazing, huh? What does Gemini's need to know for February 2021? On the floor at the door. So, see some legal documents going on. Uh, for some of you, obviously probably not all of you, but some of you, I see legal documents. Um, but I do see it have to do with money. Something to do with money. I do see gathering something to, uh, could be schooling for some of you. Could just be like a gathering um, for you. Ooh, then I see a, ooh, let's see what we got going on here. Some of you might be moving or some of you might be having, you have new plans for something new. It's something new that is going to make a big difference in your life. Um, this is something that is going to bring you to a new level. Some of you could be, uh, like I said, some of you might be thinking about starting school or um, you might be moving. Um, whatever this big move is for you, it's going to be a good beginning, a good renewal for your life. Um, there's some things that you might have to be patient about. Um, but it's going to bring a lot of good satisfaction to your soul. It's going to make you feel better as a person. It's going to bring you um, new joy, and it's going to give you a free spirit type of feeling. Um, so that's really good. You're going to be represented with something from someone. It looks like it could be a mate for some of you. Um, for others, it will be maybe just someone that is uh, very dear to your heart. Um, but some of you, I do see a new beginning in relationship as well. Um, what else do I see? Yeah, I see you guys rearranging your money. Um, not in a bad way, but it, it'll be for a good way. Uh, but I do see the legal papers, and it has to do with money. Um, let's see if I read it down. We go downwards. Let's see. We have the legal papers, um, free spirit, joy, and new feeling. Then we have um, happy home, happy security. You got the Ten of Pentacles, which is the happiest or the secure that you're ever going to feel. Um, and a new beginning, new passion, new new um, good relationship as well um, some of you could be a new relationship and some of you just a new part of your relationship it's going to grow um, and then your gathering i see gathering of some sort but being patient about something in this move or this change that's going on and um, you know, being represented with something um, All right, that's all I see for this. That was good. That was good. That's awesome. Which, I mean, I guess it is tax time, but I don't know if that will be it. Some of you it might be, and some of you it might be through court or something to that effect, something legally that you have to sign. Um, I do feel that some of you are in fear about something, um, about this new change, and I feel like it is something good. Um, you will have the strength to do what you need to do in this change that you're going to go through. You're getting ready to go through um, you're 
You're getting ready to go through something, and it's going to be for the good, but you're kind of in, in fear of it. But it's all going to work out the way it's supposed to. Sometimes we um, kind of wait for universe to do something for us, but in all reality, we have to make the first move before the universe can let it let it happen. Sometimes universe will push us to push us to where we need to go and make things happen around you to create something that, you know, is put you in a situation to make you have that stability and that courage and that that umph to do what you're supposed to do, if that makes any sense at all. Um, I also see you guys creating, you're creating something, manifesting, um, but I see some of you relaxing, chilling, being very relaxed and calm, and um, it's like you're taking a retreat away from a hectic time that you've been going through. I do see that um, you're going to be feeling strong and willing and have that ability to be creative and and to do those things that you need to do um i feel like some of you that are doing this new thing um it's like you are trying to whatever it is it's gonna bring back past memories past uh it, it's from your past so maybe you're moving back somewhere um that you used to live in your childhood <laughs> Uh, but I do see you manifesting. I see you, um, something is going to be kind of like you've been um, planning this. And, and this plan hasn't really worked out. And now it's finally going to work out for you. Um, I do see you using your intuition and bringing out the things that need to be brought out. Maybe there are secrets that need to be brought out. Or maybe... Um, you're just going to use the moon as well to be uh, magical. Sometimes some of us use, this might sound crazy to some people, but to other people you might understand this, but um, sometimes we, um, if, if you're any type of witchy, uh, you use the moon for energy, and you use that moon energy for, um, for peace sometimes. Um, and then I do see that you're, you're worried. You're, it's going to be a little bit of a struggle, but you're going to be worried about it. And it's going to be unnecessary worries that you need to make. Um, yeah, I see that you will be, you, you have a lot of worry. You have a heavy heart about it and you're worried about it. But in all reality, it's going to work out. Okay. All right. Now let's do love. What do Geminis need to know about their love life at this time in February? Is February the month of love, the Valentine's Day? I might do a video on Valentine's Day about Valentine's. I think I've already done one, maybe. I might do another one. More depth, in depth about the true Valentine's. Um, Gemini's, you guys are naturally the first zodiac uh that you guys the sign that you guys had was a man and a woman a lot of people think it's just the twins but it's not or being two-faced it's not it is about how it was a man and a woman you guys are lovers lovers <laughs> okay love what does gemini need to know about their love life this month Let's see how your love life is um, some of you have been manifesting and working on your relationship and you are feeling like kind of like you're, you give everything to your, your mate and your mate doesn't give anything back and you're kind of bored with it and you're kind of wanting some, something new. You're wanting a new beginning, not maybe say somebody new, but you're wanting something to change in your relationship. Um, but I do see that your relationship is not really on the bad, though. It is, it is pretty good, actually. Um, it's like maybe you just feel that your mate is not appreciating who you are and what you do in your relationship. Maybe not noticing you or 
Um, maybe by the 14th, you know, Valentine's Day, it'll change. Maybe you guys should plan to do a date night, you know, um, go out, do something. Um, yeah, I see that you're working hard on this, this, um, like you're, you're working hard to protect your, your relationship and it's like you're going strong at it too. It's like you feel like you've done all this and you're still doing all this and you're still protecting that, that mate that you have, although you're frustrated and kind of irritated. Um, but, but I do see it's not, it looks like the other person has just been busy and not really paying attention. It's not that they are um, ignoring you or that they're no longer interested. It's just the fact that they've been busy and they're worried about other things um, and working. It looks like they're working on something. Um, but I do see you being strong about it and you are standing there for that person and you are making... Um, you're just being that ride or die bitch <laughs> or that ride or die, die dude. Um, so, but I do see this is a karmic connection that you have to, um, something that you have to go through. Um, sometimes we have to go through certain situations to make our life better and to make us realize and look at things in a different way. Um, I do see that there might be something here that you have hidden from them or maybe they are hid hiding from you. Um, maybe there is a secret uh, that maybe it's just something that you're wanting though. I don't think that it's something that you've been sneakingly doing. Um, if it is, I, I mean, it's like, I feel like you're hiding your feelings from them. Like you, it's like you're not telling them. That's probably why this come up. Um, in a communication or in a relationship, communication is the best, um, way. I mean, you, it, you have to have communication in a relationship to make your relationship work. If you don't have that communication, it won't work. And it takes two, not just one. Um, and sometimes we get stuck in this cycle our everyday lives and we get tired of we start getting frustrated at our mate for things that is happening and sometimes our mate doesn't even realize that it's happening so what my advice for you Gemini is to sit down and talk to your mate and say hey this is the way I feel tell them your feelings because I feel like it's going to come out in your in your um, favor I think they're going to give they're going to be like hey you know, I'm glad that you talked to me about this and I'm glad that you can, you can open up and, and tell me because I wasn't seeing it. Okay. So that's nice. Anyways, let's see. So always remember that communication is one of the number one in a relationship, respect and communication. If you can't respect each other, then it doesn't work. And if you can't communicate with each other, then it doesn't work have to always communicate all right so what else do lovers need to know what people need jim and i need to know for their love life for february february all right What do they need to know? Is there any the single people? What do the single people need to know? Gemini, you guys are very intelligent people. That's why people think that you're two faced. It's because you are intelligent and you can um, sometimes you you have the mind of well, uh, it can be conniving or maybe a little manipulative, but it's because you're smart. It's because you're intelligent. You have the ability to um, wine and dine. I'll just leave it at that. 
wine and dine and you are lovers so i'll let you finish that all right so i do see lovers here you have the lovers card and i do see maybe you guys moving or just re arranging your life right now um manifestation you are manifesting something and maybe you guys are thinking about if you are in a, a, a relationship some of you are thinking about moving into a place together and bringing yourself as one um and i do see you using your intuition and um just remember that your gut feeling your instinct feeling is that gut feeling like don't use your head too much because Gemini, you guys are thinkers. You are people that are, um, you can sit around and think about things and you know how to manipulate the situations and you can do that. There's nothing wrong with that. You're very intelligent and a lot of people flourish in life and people are rich. You have to have people like that to be lawyers. You have to have people like that to be um you know, you know, you have to have that sometimes in life to succeed and to be wealthy. There's a lot of people that, like a car salesman, they are people that they they can talk to anybody and talk anybody into anything. Okay, so um, what I'm really trying to say though is I want you to use that intuition that you have and your intelligence to understand. Um, your relationship some of you are going to have a new relationship and I feel like you guys are some of you are feeling really amazing like you still are in that honeymoon phase where you are very um, you know that I call it honeymoon stage where you feel really good about your situation and you still love your mate and they don't get on your nerve yet <laughs> but eventually they do they get on your nerve but um, I do see you maybe jungle, juggling a little bit of money, maybe because of a move or because of a situation. Maybe you're moving in together. I feel like you're moving in together, um, some of you. Um, but I do see some of you that might be hanging on to some past relationship issues. Uh, make sure you let that go and you cannot bring that. Always know that you have to let go of the past before you can um, bring something new into your life. Because if you hold on to that um, negative energy, then you're going to still have that negative energy in your new relationship. And you don't want that. You want a fresh new start and you have to work on letting that go and bringing a new beginning to this new relationship. Okay. Um, but understand that it's always important to take time for your own self before you jump into something new too. Okay. Take your own time to relax and to be part of you like you are you and that's why the person that you're with they like you but you cannot be at your best if you're still holding on to that negative energy from your past um, but sometimes we need to understand though we need to let go of that and sometimes we need to learn how to communicate with our mates if there is something that's bothering you about your mate then you just need to open up and say hey blah 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 you know, whatever it is, and then sit down and have a conversation. I mean, if this person is not willing to listen to you, then this person is not the person for you, okay? Um, because you always want to listen to your what your mate wants to say about you. Um, I mean, if it's, I mean, sometimes we feel like we're going to hurt each other's feelings or something, but um, if you learn how to communicate, it makes things so much better, okay? All right. Um, that's what I got to say about this reading for February, my, my Geminis, my intelligent ones. All right, so I will talk to you later, and thanks for coming to watch. Deuces.